If you like Greek food, then you've probably tasted baklava. It's made with a paper-thin, flaky pastry called phyllo, the Greek word for leaf. It's a difficult mixture to perfect, so luckily it's one of those foodstuffs that lends itself perfectly to being frozen from ready-made. Phyllo pastry can be made by hand or by machine. Either way, it starts with the same pastry recipe. The proportions are roughly 40% water and 60% flour. Two types of wheat flour are used. High protein flour to make the pastry strong and flexible and low protein flour to make its texture smooth. Sorbate, a preservative, is also used. After about 15 minutes of mixing, a section is cut off and fed into a machine called the divider, which transforms it into a cylindrical wad. Workers hand roll the wad into a rough ball, then feed it two or three times through a machine that kneads the mixture into a rounder, harder ball with no air bubbles trapped inside. Then a machine called the sheeter flattens the ball into what looks like pizza dough. Workers stack about 30 sheets with craft paper in between to absorb some of the moisture. Next is the key step called opening the pastry. First, a large cotton cloth is laid over the work surface. It must be 100% cotton to absorb the moisture, otherwise the mixture would stick together. They take a sheet of dough and begin stretching it by hand until it's approximately two and a half meters square. Even though the pastry is stretched thin, it doesn't tear. This is partly due to its protein content and partly the skill of the worker. The process is repeated with all 30 sheets, stacking them one on top of the other. Then they take a plank of wood, called a sanida in Greek, and roll the pastry sheets onto it, one by one, removing the cloths from in between. They sprinkle cornstarch onto the pastry, just enough to prevent sticking. However, too much cornstarch would burn the pastry. Now they move the sanida to another table and cut along one side of the pastry. They remove the wood and open the sheets flat. Then they cut rectangles measuring 33 by 43 centimeters, standard phyllo size. Each sheet of phyllo pastry is about as thin as a sheet of tissue paper, but it's strong and flexible enough not to tear when a baker works with it. Machine-made phyllo pastry is a much faster method, used primarily for mass-produced frozen food items. An automated machine, called the stretcher, transforms a big wad of pastry into a thin flat sheet, applying just the right amount of cornstarch. A continuous air current coming from underneath creates an air bubble. The height of the bubble tells the workers whether the pastry is the right consistency. The pastry dries under infrared lamps. This step is necessary because this method doesn't use craft paper and cotton cloths to absorb the excess moisture. The dried sheets of pastry rolls onto a spool. Workers cut along the sides to release the pastry and lay it flat. Using a template, they cut the standard size rectangle yielding about 800 sheets of phyllo pastry. They roll about 20 sheets together at a time and wrap them in plastic. Then they vacuum pack and heat seal the package. Phyllo pastry stays fresh for six weeks in the refrigerator and six months in the freezer. Time enough for you to make a fantastic feast. <laughs>